Hi, I'm Kurt Schmucker from Parallels, and I'm going to show you some of the improvements in Parallels Desktop 14. Let's start with the improvements to Microsoft Inc. In Inc, Microsoft has added a number of new features recently, so we made sure that those features worked in Parallels Desktop 14. The first feature I'll show you is gesture editing in Microsoft Word. I can turn on Ink support by going to the Draw menu and turn on the Ink Editor. I can show you the gestures that are supported by going to the Help page. If I pick a pen, set the appropriate diameter for the pen, and now I can do edits just with gestures, like this, like this, and like this. In Microsoft Word, you can now use gestures to actually edit the document. In Microsoft PowerPoint, there are two new features related to ink. The first, if I go to the Draw menu, I can turn on Ink to Shape. So an approximate shape that I draw gets turned into a perfect shape by Microsoft. There's a circle, here's a square, and here's a right triangle. Almost a right triangle. We also added support for another new feature that Microsoft added in Inc., and that's pressure sensitivity. To have this work, you need a device that will send pressure data back to the Mac. I happen to have a Wacom tablet here. So I go to the Draw menu, pick a pen, pick a nice wide pen, and then begin drawing with my Wacom tablet. The pressure data will be sent to the, to the Mac, and will be sent to, to Parallels, and I can get thicknesses and thin and so on in the hands of a real artist. This is a great tool. The Wacom tablet, of course, is a wonderful accessory for the Macintosh, but not everyone has one. So the Parallels engineers made sure you could get pressure sensitivity in ink without having extra hardware by just using the touchpad on your Mac. If I hold the function key down and draw, I get the same pressure sensitivity that I had before without having to buy any extra hardware. We're looking forward to bringing these and other improvements in ink to Parallels desktop users across the world. Thank you very much.